Hello, Charlie TCG here, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're not looking at any post rotation or how dominant Lugia is in the former. I'm here with my wife, Emma. Hello. And we're going to be ranking some of the Pokemon card artworks. Now, brief disclaimer, Emma doesn't know too much about Pokemon or cards. She knows some of the cards, like she has a favorite decks, a favorite Pokemon, but doesn't really go further than that. So I found this article on Game Rant, which, are the, which has the 15 best and most gorgeous Pokemon artwork. So let's see if that's actually the case when we go do some ranking of these. Are you excited? Yes, I am. I'm mostly ranking on aesthetic, just so you all know, because like Charlie said, I don't actually know much about Pokemon, but I'm excited to look at the cards with him. Okay, so with further ado, let's begin. Starting off with this tag team card. What do you think of it? I really like it. It kind of looks like a mosaic or like stained glass. I've always found stained glass to be very beautiful. And it's fun that there are three different creatures. What what are the creatures? There's Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos tag teams. Kind of like a promo for like a special like slip-in sort of set. Didn't really see much play, but it's one of the best artworks I think on a Pokemon card in modern era. Yeah, I would say that it's really pretty. And I like the, the bird that's on the right, the blue one. What bird is that? Articuno. Ah, that one. one. Cool, cool. So out of 10, what would you rank it? I think I would give it a nine. I really like it. I think it's really beautiful. I'll give it probably a nine as well. It's a really good card. Yeah, we're on the same page exactly. then. Exactly. Nice. So let's see what is on, what's their 14th one. Okay, Arceus V-Star, oh V, sorry. A very, very powerful Pokemon right now in the format. And it's a very good card. But do you like it, the artwork? I like it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite one. Um, it kind of looks like it was like computer generated. I don't know if that's like the word. Yeah, it looks that... more like a digital artwork. Yeah, it. I like it. It looks very pointy. Um, it kind of looks like a god figure because it's like up in the sky and has but... some like rays shooting from it. Well, it is like the god Pokemon, so that would make a bit of sense. Ah, there you go. Um, and it's like overlooking a forest maybe so that's kind of cool some different landscapes going there i like it but i wouldn't say that it's my favorite i don't like it as much as the one before what do you think about it yeah i mean i really love this card i love the artwork for it definitely i ever want to have it like on the collection sort of piece like, i could understand people trying to go for it but i don't know i would say out of 10 i would probably give this an eight like it's a beautiful artwork but it's not like perfect for me what would you say I think I'm going to give it a seven, just because the style isn't really for me, but it's still very well done. Okay, on to the next. Okay, going back in time to 2009 in the Platinum Era for Supreme Victors, a shiny melodic card. Thoughts on it? Looks like a water dragon. Is that what it's supposed Kinda, to be? Kind of, yes. Kind of like a koi fish, you know, like a koi pond. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, think especially it's... the tail. Yeah. I actually really like this one the more that I look at it. I like the two-tone color between the tail and like the orange and then also like the purple and the blue. You know, like the warm colors and then the cool colors. Exactly. I feel like that's a cool contrast. I actually, yeah, I do really like this one. I like the water and then I like that it looks like a dragon or a fish. So I might give this one a nine, actually. I think I like that a lot. I'm going to give this one a nine because I love this card. Okay. And the more I look at it, the more I like it. Okay. So the next one. Going back to a Radiant Collection card from a generation set, Sylveon EX. No, I don't like this one. Really? Yeah. I mean, pink is my favorite color, but I, mm, I feel like it's too pink in a way. And then it has way too many arms. Like, what is, is this? Is it I a bunny? I think those are like tentacles, like ribbons. It's like a ribbony Pokemon. So it's like an octopus with tentacles? Really? Not really. It's more like a fox dog with tentacle ribbons on its neck just feel like that's strange i don't know i mean it, it's winking at us is it like concealing a secret and it's winking to like intimidate us i don't know maybe <laughs> i don't know i, I just of it like that well i don't think it's actually it i just i don't know there i like the is that evie right in the yes. background i like evie but she's not like part of it no it's like it's evolution of it okay eh. It's just too, like, fluffy. Like, and then I don't like that it's winking. Mm. I mean, I would give it probably a six. It's not my favorite artwork from this set, but it's nice enough that it, it's different to what the EXs would look like during that era. I just feel like there's too much going on for me. I'm going to give it a four. Okay. And the arms and tentacles. So I just don't get that. Big sort of difference in sort of our ratings. Let's see 
if this carries on. Ah, we'll with see. The next card, all the way from SkyDrive, a very old Gengar from 2003. Now, for me, I really like this artwork. I love the simplicity. It's just one color, every single wear. I just find this is a really cool, simple looking card. But what do you think? Yeah, no, I completely disagree with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I guess, yeah, I mean, it is simple, but it just looks like an angry bomb that's like mm. blowing up a city. But it's also smiling, so then that makes it more creepy because it looks angry, but also like mm -hmm. happy. It does look quite menacing with it. Yeah, that's a good word to describe it. I would actually give this out of 10. I might, I would probably go seven for this. Wow, okay. That's very high. I, I don't know why I don't like, I guess maybe it's too simple for me that I feel like anyone could just like kind of sketch it out on their own. And I feel like maybe the artwork should be a little fancier, but I also don't know because I'm not very knowledgeable about this. And I also just don't like that it kind of looks like an angered bomb. So I'm going to give it a three. Sorry. Oh, wow. Sorry, Gengar. Now onto this Mew. I think this is like an exclusive one in Japan from the EX era in 2004 of Mew when you got as a player league. Now I like it. I like the hollow sort of thing, but I don't like its face. I think the eye, because you only see one of the eyes, I never know which way it's looking. Because I know it's looking to the left, but yeah, I'm not, yeah, I don't like this. What do you think? I like it. I think like the, I think maybe it was the second one, it's like more computer generated, I guess. Again, I don't know if that's like the term, but I like it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I do think it looks very cute. It's kind of facing towards the side, I think, like you were saying, kind of to the left side. The eye looks very much like a human's eye, which mm -hmm. I feel like is cool, but also maybe a little odd i don't know because it's supposed to be like an animal or yeah whatever um but i like the garden scene because it i don't know it's a cool background and also you can see that it's kind of looking into a window maybe that's kind of the what i'm getting from it um i like the colors too i always am a good fan of the combination of like pink and green together those are my two favorite colors just Ooh. so you all know so fun Very healthy, um right? yeah so i would give this one a six i think I was thinking six, but now more I look at it, I think I might go for a five for this new. Wow, okay. Okay, so we're starting to differ some of our rankings of these apparently best Pokemon artworks. Hmm. So on to this Pikachu, a very, very popular card. It's from the same Radiant collection as the Sylveon on the X. I remember playing this in like a Raichu deck, well, I mean, 2016, that's coming up to nearly 10 years ago now. I am really like this card. It's cute, it's fun, it really encapsulates what Pikachu is, like with all of its friends. But yeah, it's fun and cute. Do you agree? Yes, I, I mean, it's definitely cute. What does that say? A yellow body is proof of good health. If you touch its bright red cheeks, you'll see its shining, smiling face. That's cute. Is that just like a saying that they yeah, put on the like card? Yeah, it's like the okay. flavor text, which is always in every card. The flavor text. That's what it's called. Okay. <laughs> Um, I do like it though. I like that nuzzle is one of the like commands that it does, you know, because I just feel like that's very cute. And yeah, it's fun that there are so many of them and that they're all just kind of piled together. Yeah. Kind of fun. Mm, what would you give out of 10? Uh, I feel like it, it's very classic. Like Pikachu is, you know, the face of Pokemon. I'm going to give it a 7 because I like it. I think it's very cute, but it's also very basic. I'll give it an 8. It's fun. It's it captures what Pikachu is, and it's just a really, like, you can't help but smile a little bit when you look at the artwork. Yeah, I'd agree with that. So, on to the next one, I love this one. It's another Raynet collection from Legendary Treasures Reshiram, a very, very powerful card, which was also released 10 years ago. And I remember seeing this card be have a lot of competitive play. This one's very different sort of what you would see in some other like Reshiram cards. And I really like this. I love the white and red sort of the background, especially it's very bold, very vibrant, very colorful. Well, with only having three colors, I just think they make the most use of it. And I'm a huge fan of it. Nice, yeah. No, I, I really like this one as well. I like the contrast, like you were saying, between the red and the white. And the fact that there are roses in the background and some sparkles as well, I feel it, I don't know, gives it a little jazz, which is always fun. Um, what animal is it supposed to be? It's like a dragon. They had like, the, they did like I a- I can see that, yeah. yeah. Like they're like a black and white, like a yin and yang sort of thing. Based actually on like New York sort of like dragons sort of thing, but they don't look like 
a dragon from New York. But I really love this. What artwork. would a dragon from New York look I don't like? Know. Probably like something like a pigeon or something like that. <laughs> Honestly, very accurate. Or rats. True. Um. Hmm. Yeah, no, I do really like this one. You can kind of tell that it's powerful. It feels like it's the cool kid in school. You know, like if that Pokemon were at a high school in America, it would be the popular kid, I think. I would I would give this a 10 out of 10, I think. Wow. I'll go nine. I don't think I'm all the way at a 10 yet, but I do really like this one and I love the background artwork as well. Perfect. So Zoroark, it was a very popular card and incredibly p powerful and competitive with Zoroark GX and also YGZ back in 2016. But do you like it? No, not at all. Again, sorry to anyone out there listening who likes these cards. This is just my opinion. Um, it, I don't know. It just kind of looks like a charcoal drawing that got smudged a little too much. And I also have issues with the proportions because, again, I don't what animals... So it's like a fox. Well, the fox's waist is way too thin, I think. And then the fingernails are way too big. So there's just like a weird thing with the proportions. And then it looks kind of evil. So I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it. And then, yeah, maybe it's just like the black and the red together. And then also like the spots of yellow. It just feels a little evil. Yeah, I can see though. Zorok's one of my favorite Pokemon out there. So. Oh no, oh, sorry. So... I always am quite biased when it comes to Zorro artworks. I feel like this is one of the worst type of Zorro artworks. I still like it. Okay. I think like, it's very unique, like you said, from the charcoal-y colours. Uh, it really like stands up the glow of the, the white yeah. ring around it. Like, I wouldn't say it's the best, but out of 10, I'd probably give this maybe a 6. What would you go for? Maybe a... I'm going to go with a 4, I think. Really? Yeah, again, I just... I just don't like it very much. I think the proportions are maybe throwing me off a little bit, but yeah, no, it's not my favorite. So this one from Dragon Dragonite from Diamond and Pearl, Legends Awakened. Do you like it? I do, yeah. I. It kind of looks like just a yellow blob in space. I mean, I can tell it's a dragon, obviously, by the wings, but it's, it's not my favorite, but I do like it a lot. I mean, it looks really cute. It looks like a creature that would like hug you. You know, it kind of reminds me of the yellow Teletubby. If anybody it's ever very watched approachable. that? Yeah, very, very approachable Teletubby, I would say. Um, but no, I, I do like this one. Again, I like the background. It's very sparkly. Um, you, yeah, you can tell that it's a friendly Pokemon. I would agree with that. It definitely, it the, probably too yellow for me. Like, how can something I didn't know, be it, too like, yellow? It like blends into it. Like, it's difficult to like differentiate oh, what is yeah. which of the body parts. Um, but I really true. love how it works with the hollow sort of pattern. I do like this card, but I wouldn't say it's my all-time favorite um, yeah. Diamond and Pearl era um, hollow. I would give this probably maybe another six out of ten. I might say seven, just because I like that it looks really friendly. But like you were saying, with it being too yellow, there's no like outline to differentiate the different features of it. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, that... That's a good point. That might be throwing me off a little. But no, I'm still going to go seven. Okay, on to the next card. This promo from Gyarados. Now, this was an incredibly powerful card, which actually won back-to-back -back regionals by a UK person called Alex Dow. Um, but I find this artwork doesn't give this card any justice. Hmm. I think it just looks a bit... It looks overly very aggressive. It just it's not really shouting at me. I'm not a big fan of this. Do you like it? I actually like it more than I did when I initially saw it, because I know that I've seen this one before. I don't know. I, I really like how it's drawn. It looks like somebody hand drew it in a way. And then I really like the background. It kind of looks like a watercolor, like mix of mix of different colors and very like rainbow. Um, and this Pokemon, yeah, does look a little bit intimidating and a little bit fierce. But in a way, maybe that's what the card shows, is that it is a fierce Pokemon. I guess some of the cards aren't going to have super cute Pokemon, which is what I would personally always like. Um, it does look like the Loch Ness Monster a little bit, or some sort of, like, serpent sea creature. Um, oh, yeah, I, I definitely see that as well. Yeah. Who's the person in the back? It's like a fisherman. He's trying to fish up a Gyarados, it looks like. Uh -huh. But no, like, 
I understand where you're coming from. I do like it. Yeah. I feel like, but yeah, I'm not, it's not like screaming out at me all the time. No, I mean, it's not my favorite, but I definitely do like the artwork style, I think, more than some of the other ones. But yeah, I would say this would probably be, maybe I might go for a four if it's one, my first below a Wow, five. Yeah. shocking. So surprising. I think I'll give it a five. Which is, I guess, is very just like average. Yeah, just I mean, yeah, it is average, but okay. Next one is Ooh. Umbreon, a very popular Pokemon and a beautiful artwork. I actually had this card, but I think I misplaced it. Did you really? It. Yeah, but I think I misplaced it like when I was younger and put it somewhere. But no, I love this artwork. I love it. It's very dark and mysterious. I love the glowing red eye. I think the color works so well, especially with the background, like the the dark type of the Pokemon, as well as the Pokemon in general. I'm a big fan of this card. Yeah, no, I completely agree with you. I love the background of this one. Again, I feel like the sky looks so beautiful, and then the fact that it's a really large, like, glowing full moon is really cool too. It kind of, I don't know, reminds me of a werewolf, even though obviously it's not a werewolf. Um, but it reminds me of like a wolf that's looking at the moon about to howl. It is the moonlight Pokemon, so it would work. Ah, there you go. But yeah, I mean, I highly doubt it's actually a wolf. It's really cute though. I really love the like stripes on the tail and then the ears as well. So it's a cute Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. I would probably give this one a 10. And my second 10 for the video, I really like it. I You're think- You're giving out 10s. That's, I know. Wow. Throwing it left, right and center. But I would say this is a beautiful card. I understand why loads of collectors want to have this. I understand why it's such an expensive card to get. Same time, it is absolutely a stunning artwork. I'm going to give it an eight. Okay. I do really like it. Yeah. I guess maybe it's just the fact that the glowing red eye makes it a little intimidating. That's why I'm giving it an eight and not a 10. Makes sense. So, onto this one, this very powerful card, which was so dominant and won a world championship. And this was a promo for the tin of Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team. But do you like it, Emma? I don't think I do. I just feel like the Pokemon, so it's two on yeah. the same card. Okay. The bigger one's very buff to the sense that it looks human esque but like not a human, I don't know. That's throwing me off a little bit. And then it just looks very annoyed by the other one. I feel like if you're working together, you should not be annoyed with each other. You should work together, that's I my mean, opinion. It looks like Muse made a really funny joke and Mewtwo is like, that's not funny, that's just cringy. That's why I can imagine like it's a bit like annoyed I guess, I don't at Mew. I, I like it, but the more I'm looking at it, the more it's not my cup of tea. I think it's a really good artwork but I don't think I it's for me. Mewtwo's just, I feel like too big and just kind of taking up front and center. And then the other one is just kind of like shoved in the background. I don't know. I guess it shows like the size proportion between yeah. them. So that's good, but I don't know. It's nothing too Im impressive to me. Yeah, I would say I would probably give this one maybe a five of artwork. I'm gonna give it a four. So, I think we're coming near the end. This is the second best uh, artwork, and of course it goes to Charizard, a very much an overhyped Pokemon in my opinion. And this artwork, I do not like. Why? I always think his eye is its nose. It's eye? So where is eye? Oh. I don't know, I can never unsee it, and I just find it's just, I know, I like the outlines, but sometimes it's just not for me i just find this card just doesn't shout at me i'm not a big fan of the colors i think it kind of like blends more into one i think the sort of just looks not like i'm saying oh it looks too aggressive but also the fire is a little bit see-through and that also sounds a bit throwing me off a tiny bit i don't know i just don't like it that much wow see i'm going to disagree i mean i've seen other charizard cards i think that you've shown me that i like better but i do like charizard overall i know you said it was overhyped but it's fine um no but i do like charizard but no i like that the fire is see-through i feel like that's really interesting and it's kind of a cool effect on it you're right that charizard does look a little bit more menacing in this card 
but I don't know. I, I just, I like Charizard in general. We have a cat named Norman, and I feel like if Norman were a Pokemon, Norman would be Charizard. See, I think it could be similar to like Zero Aura. But yeah, I would give this a four. Interesting. I'm going to give it a seven. Okay. Yeah. And now we're on to apparently the best Pokemon card artwork, which is from this article. And it goes to Hypno from Breakpoint. I think this is such a letdown as a final card. Like, apparently the best mm. artwork is different to anything Pokemon has done before. I give that credit there. But I just don't... I'm confused when I look at this card. I'm so confused. I... No, I just don't get it. It looks like I'm tripping. You know? Like, I don't know if you've seen the scene. Have you seen the scene in Dumbo? Where it's like the the weird like dream yes. sequence or whatever that reminds me of this. It's like a, a very it's like a very happy side and a very sad side. Yeah. Of the same sort of picture. Well, one has a Clefairy and the other one doesn't. Like the poker in the background. It's just there's a lot going on in there's, this artwork. I feel like there's too much going on. My eyes are very distracted, and the colors are so bright too. Yeah, it's very vibrant, very different to what we're expecting in Pokemon, but. Maybe that's why they decided to rank this so high as like their best favorite artwork. But for me, it's a five. I'm giving it a two. I'm just very confused by this. This is our sort of take on what Gamer Rant's top cards were and their favorite gorgeous artwork. If you want to see what any of these cards are, the link is in the description below. See if you agree with any of us or disagree with what some of our cards are, our favorites were. But let's finish off with I know your favorite Pokemon is Wooloo, so I found a fun artwork. Do you like it? I love this one. I I like a lot of the cards that have a really nice like nature background. And I think this one's great because of the stars and you can tell that it's sunset or like dusk. And I don't know, Wooloo's just so cute. A sheep, as you know, as you all know by now, is my favorite animal. So it's that's why Wooloo's my favorite. And then I think this is just a really nice scene that could also be a sheep in real life. I agree, yeah. It's very simple in sort of its color scheme. It's not really too much shading. And I love like the watery color sort of background. It's very simple for yeah. a Pokemon card, which, yeah. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I'll give it an eight. Just okay. to change it up a bit. But no, I think it's a fun little Pokemon card to end up on. If you like this, please give a like below. Please subscribe to his channel. And if you like this, we can do another one soon. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye-bye.